Hey guys, it is Sophie from Gains by Brains and welcome to this new episode of my Getting Fit series. In this video I will be showing 5 breakfast ideas, because who doesn't like breakfast, right? I made sure to include a variety of ideas, so I have one which is very high in protein, I have one which is very quick and very easy, and I've included a few of my personal favorites. Now if you liked the previous uploads of my Getting Fit series, then please make sure to give this video a like, to leave a comment down below, because I love reading your comments, and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads ever again. But then you do have to ring the bell, because otherwise you will probably miss them. Now if you're interested in checking out the online coaching programs that I offer, then you can click the link in my description box because it will redirect you to my website and you can see all the programs there. I really hope that you enjoy watching this video. Let's make some breakfast and I also hope that it doesn't make you too hungry. So let's go. So the first meal are quick overnight oats, very quick, very easy. I add 40 gram of oats and I combine that with 100 milliliter of almond milk. I found that that is the perfect ratio for me. I add a bit of cinnamon and then you give it a good stir and just put it in the fridge overnight. And then when you take it out the next morning, you add a little bit of lemon, stir it again and you are good to go. So the second meal is the high protein yogurt. Now I prefer to use 0% fat Greek yogurt for this. I add a total of 300 grams and then I add some protein powder. I usually add two scoops of 15 gram each, so 30 grams in total, and I give it a good stir after each scoop because if you try to add it all in once then it usually gets spilled everywhere and trust me that is not what you want. Then I like to add some fresh blueberries and I also like to add some coconut flakes. This is all up to you, I just like the extra crunch and the extra grams of fat. The third meal is the breakfast muffin and for the breakfast muffin I like to use a very thin bun and I toast it for a bit in the pan. And then I cook up one egg with one additional egg white and add some pepper. Then I cook up 40 grams of turkey and I add a bit of hummus and some lettuce to top it off to the bun. So the fourth meal is the French toast, which is one of my absolute favorites. For the French toast, you need one whole egg and one additional egg white. I also like to add a bit of almond milk just to get the right consistency. And then you need to give it a good stir. I also like to add some cinnamon, as you may already know from the previous meals that I just showed you. And then you just get your whole wheat bread slice, get it through the mix and then you put it in the pan. Now you want to make sure that it is cooked very very well and then they are ready to be served. I like to serve them with fresh blueberries. Blueberries taste pretty sweet and they are very low in calories making it a good topping and I also like to add some additional cinnamon as you may already saw from the clip. The fifth meal is the healthy pancakes. Now this one might take a little bit longer to make, but it is very, very delicious. And you only need one banana and three eggs and a bit of cinnamon. For this dish, you can just chop up the banana and just squish it with a fork, I guess. Um, you can also put it in a blender. Now, if you put it in a blender or in a mixer, then your mix gets a bit more fluffy, which will result in better pancakes. Uh, but if you don't have access to a mixer or you don't want to get it dirty then you can just squish it with your fork and it will do the trick it will taste exactly the same just a bit different consistency of the pancakes so as you can see here i put the banana in the mixer thingy i add some eggs i add one whole egg and two egg whites 
and then it is ready to be mixed and your mix is finished and you can put it in the pan. Now as you can see here you will end up with a pretty good amount of pancakes and if you feel like this might be too much for you then you can also use half of a banana and either one or two eggs depending on whether you want your pancakes to taste more like banana or eggs. So that's it, that was the video, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that it helped you out, that you maybe got some inspiration for different breakfast ideas. Let me know in the comments if you are going to try one. I would love to know and I would love to see you in my next Vlogmas upload, which will be up tomorrow. So thank you so much and have a great day. Bye guys.